I'm Dr. Jennifer Fang, and I work in the Division of Neonatal Medicine at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'll be discussing our article, Emergency Video Telemedicine for Newborn Resuscitations, the Mayo Clinic Experience, which will be appearing in Mayo Clinic Proceedings. The objective of our study was to describe the Mayo Clinic experience using emergency video telemedicine to support local care teams during high-risk, unanticipated newborn deliveries occurring in community hospitals. To our knowledge, this is the first study describing the use of telemedicine in this clinical situation. In our program, Rochester-based neonatologists are able to use a synchronous video telemedicine service to connect with local care teams and guide them through the critical steps of newborn resuscitation. For these hospitals, these events are typically high risk, but very low frequency. During our 20-month study, we performed 84 telemedicine consultations. An interesting finding was that nearly one-third of babies were able to remain in the local hospital upon completion of the telemedicine consult. We found that for these babies, the remote neonatologist was able to visually assess the infant and provide more effective remote guided care, likely preventing the unnecessary transfer of these babies to our NICU. In Table 1, you can see a description of these patients as well as the telemedicine solutions used during the consultation. The remaining babies were critically ill and did require transfer to our neonatal intensive care unit. In Table 2, you can see a description of these patients as well as the care that was provided by the remote neonatologist during the telemedicine consult. And what you can see is that our neonatologists are really guiding these care teams through the critical steps of resuscitation, including effective ventilation, endotracheal intubation, and other life-saving procedures like umbilical line placement and thoracocentesis. As part of our study, we also were measuring the duration of the telemedicine consults. And what we found was that consult duration varied significantly, both by patient disposition as well as indication for the consultation. In Figure 2A, you can see that for babies who are ultimately transferred to our NICU, their telemedicine consults lasted longer, on average about 30 minutes, whereas the babies who were able to remain in the local hospital had shorter consults with a medium duration of about 6 minutes. And we feel that this type of data is very helpful as hospitals start to plan how they want to do their telemedicine programs with respect to workflows and staffing models. As part of our telemedicine program, we also send electronic surveys to the remote neonatologist as well as the local physician to assess teamwork and overall satisfaction with the service provided. And what we found was that in about 90% of cases, the various teamwork metrics were assessed very favorably. And importantly for our patients, in nearly 95% of cases, the local physician felt that the telemedicine consult provided by our remote neonatologist actually improved the quality of care or patient safety. We think that's pretty remarkable. In about 93% of cases, the local physician would say that they would use telemedicine again or would recommend it to their colleagues, which we think speaks to the acceptability of this type of telemedicine program in community hospitals. In conclusion, we feel that our study demonstrates that telemedicine for newborn resuscitation is feasible, it improves access to subspecialty care when it's needed, and may likely prevent the unnecessary transfer of babies to regional referral centers. In addition, we found that our remote neonatologist and the local care team were able to work collaboratively to support these critical newborns during the resuscitative period. Currently, we're working on a retrospective study to better understand the impact that telemedicine has on the quality of newborn resuscitations. Thank you for listening, and we hope you enjoy our article. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.